welcome, welcome, welcome. It's Lydia Nichols on Y here. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Thank you so much for joining me for some VTuber newsy news. Let us go into the VTuber news today. Yum, yum. Okay, so this is on the Kurosanji subreddit. And this was posted by uh, Crimson Vuturos 007. And it says it's a one after another. Yikes. Oh God. Okay, what's this about? Crimson says, recently Millie isn't doing well mentally. And now this? The company really doesn't give an F about their talents mental health shaking my head. Anna Alouette from Niji Sanji Ian. Oh, hey, Alu peeps. I'm going to take a week or two off to properly rest because I haven't really stopped working in the past couple of months. I'm really sorry since I just kind of got back into the groove, but I think I need to start taking better care of my physical and mental state. Oh my goodness. Poor, poor Anna. Rimu says, rest all you need, BB girl. Guys, like the writing's on the wall here. Man, like Niji does not take care of their talent at all. And, and the fact that they don't care that their people just essentially burn out is a big problem. It's a big problem. Like I've said this many times, VTubing should not be a life-threatening profession. This, this is not okay. This is not okay that this happens in, like, for an indie, I can understand. For an indie, you know, indies have a lot of uphill battles to make by themselves. I can understand an indie being burnout. But a corporate VTuber? A corporate VTuber should have every single advantage. They should have every single advantage. They should have a manager who's able to manage. They should have editors who are able to edit their content. They should have just like paid moderators to moderate the, the Discord and the chat. That should be all the good things about corporate life. That should be like, you know, you signed up for the corporate kool-aid you should be getting the corporate bonuses you should be getting healthcare, a 401k plan you know personal trainer you got you like like that's what it should be it should your life should be better joining a corporation it shouldn't be worse why is it worse what is the point of signing up for a corporation if they're not going to make your life better i don't understand it's kind of it's kind of disgusting how they how they treat their talent, to be quite honest with you. Um, you should just be able to just stream and play games and have fun and like all the back end stuff be worked out because that's the whole point. They should also have like, you know, like therapists who are especially trained for VTubing stuff like like they should be living their best life. And the fact that they're not is really sad and it's disgusting how much the corporations take off of these talents and they're just letting them suffer. Anyways, uh, let's see what the people on, on Reddit got to say. Haunting ad 8816 says, She really needs this. Her voice is absolutely effed. We don't want one of those surgeries for vocalists. A lot of people around Anna's circle told her to take a break. Friends, therapists, and chat. Oh, goodness, goodness. Okay. Oh, Anna, I'm so sorry. Anna, I hope you're able to recover. I hope you're able to take, take some time for yourself. Anna, please leave Niji. <laughs> please. You're, you're going to be okay. Oh, man, that's tough. That is just so tough. It's so sad. It's so sad that Niji just needs more bodies for the meat grinder. I hate it. On to our next piece of news, guys. Kurosanji subreddit. This is posted by Silver Freedom. It says, I'm surprised no one has posted on this yet, but yeah, it's bad. All right, we got Claude from Niji Sanji as well. What does Claude got to say? Doctor says it's overwork. Oh, no. He kind of excused my late night gaming hours. But said, I can't do my tab out, do work tab in game type beat because it's counterintuitive and it's messing with my mental and physical. Uh, and then Claude says, I'm okayish, by the way. <laughs> Doesn't sound like you're okayish, Claude. Okay. Felt weird physically despite getting real well kind of sleep in the last couple of days. My brain's been in hyper work mode because of responsibilities. And it sucks when there's a lot that hinges on your decisions sometimes. Also, my coach toned down gym program. Wow, 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 wow. Wow, okay, so two Niji people are burning out. This is not good. Red flags, red flags. All right, haunting ad says, do people tend to do the dumbest actions when they're overworked? This is a legit question, by the way, not a bash towards them. Yes, when you're tired, you make silly decisions. That can happen, absolutely. People are getting overworked at Niji. That sucks. That sucks. No excuses. Black company, terrible. Okay, on to our next piece of news. It's kind of relevant to like Niji people not having a good time at Niji, okay? Okay, all right. So Palmu Rainpuff, who used to be with Niji, Palmu turned into 
mint so that way you know who this is and this is the alt account that she would tweet on okay i'm gonna read through some things some of these no longer exist in the twitter sphere here here it says there's lots i've been holding out on saying because i want to be professional i hate getting myself involved in drama and i honestly don't want you guys to have to be concerned about it but lately because of what happened to me has been weighing on me it's hard to hold back Okay, what's she, what's she talking about? Is she talking about her, her job at Niji? I don't know. And, uh, and then here it says, small deleted vent. I won't let my old job keep getting me down. Here's also an old tweet that's been uh, deleted, but uh, it says, dropping a re-review of her Twitter space dated March 25th, 2024, about the topic since it might offer just a little bit more context. And then it says, dear, the way I'll word it is, I found something out after I left my previous job and it kind of left me feeling a little I think traumatized is too great of a word but I think I'm gonna delete this Twitter space afterwards but um yeah it's been weighing extremely heavily on me so I uh I'm sorry I don't usually like talking about this stuff at all but uh I'm uh kind of holding on to it but uh yeah so just a little bit of trauma laughs uh but, uh, yeah, I just feel, I don't know, I feel kind of just really lost and don't know what to do and don't feel like I belong anywhere and kind of sad laugh. Yeah, so, like I said, I came here to kind of work my thoughts out and ended up more confused. But I'm glad I came here and had a lot of fun. Her old job is Niji Sanji, but 99% um, sure that Niji took a toll on her. Like every member, like Niji's not great for people's mental health here. So it's, uh, I mean, she doesn't say it outright, but I guess it can be inferred. She, it, it seems like she's doing much better now as her mint persona. Um, so we're very happy for mint. So if you haven't already, please go support mint. Okay, on to our next piece of news. So this is... Mika Miletika, who was affiliated with Niji, but as you know, graduated and moved to Vishojo. Hooray! And is now Michi. Um, this is on the Kurosanji subreddit. And it's posted by Doesn't Work for Is. It says, Michi thought she shouldn't join Vishojo. I'm used to being told that I ain't good enough. Oh, man. Okay, okay, let's, uh, let's, let's watch, shall we? You know, wow. for one reason or another, it's very hard to let go of that mentality where it's like, I have to be more useful than I am a burden. Before I debut, obviously, I didn't... The thing is, like, I didn't know how people would react to me. Aww. So I was like, oh, um, I don't know if I can actually be of value to you. And then my manager was like, oh, no, you're going to be a great fit in Vishojo. You're, you're going to be a great fit. I already know it. Wow. I was like, I don't know. <laughs> I was so scared of burdening them and not bringing anything to the table. Aww. And I was like, oh, I don't know, man. This, this, this is like shout out. Literally, all, all, all of my friends, even my managers, at that time, like they weren't my managers yet, but Panini, literally, imagine, right? You're sitting here, you're trying to recruit someone, right? You are here and you're offering so many good shit. You're trying wow. to recruit someone. And this person is telling you how they're scared that you're not going to benefit them. And you go out of your way to remind them that they will. Like, Panini's like, oh no, you're going to do fine. You're going to do well. Right? Like, you're going to be amazing. You're going to have wow. fun. Wow. Like, what, what That's a manager. What if I'm not I feel profitable? Bad for I just, I just want to give back. And I'm, I'm going to be real. Streaming has been so fun. I am still insecure though. <laughs> I don't know oh. if like I'm doing enough or if I'm good enough. It genuinely feels like I'm not used to to any of this. You know? The, I, I, no one is telling me I suck and it's been two weeks. Something's <laughs> wrong. Wait! It's weird. Um, that's Skylar's not that's true, normal. That's wow. It's been two weeks Maybe and no one told you you suck. That's that's 300. normal. That's great. Okay, I'm, oh, I'm used to be told that it ain't good Michi, enough. You're doing wonderful. <gasps> I'm used to being told I'm not good enough. Oh my gosh, guys! Okay, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna Google something for you, okay? That I think she's having. 
Okay, because I have this too. The imposter syndrome, okay? Imposter syndrome is the condition of feeling anxious and not experiencing success internally despite being high performing in external objective ways. This condition often results in people feeling like a fraud or a phony or downing their abilities. Let's see what uh, let's see what people on, on Reddit gotta say. Arkans Rival says massive rocks of salt that her imposter syndrome may not have completely originated from her previous employment. She mentioned a few times that her upbringing has a typical Asian family strictness to it. Plus, she has shared experiences that had contemplated things during a very low point in her life prior to working there. Don't remember, but she tweeted about it. Uh, what we can derive from this is that her previous workplace certainly did not alleviate any of her imposter syndrome, though, which is just as sucky. Mm -hmm. Exactly, exactly right. All right. On to our next piece of news. Okay, so to, we're going to be talking about Vebe. Who is Vebe? Vebe is a female independent English YouTuber based in the UK. And the UK. Okay, so why are we talking about Vebe today? Well... This is Vebe's Twitter slash X post. And she says, Team YouTube. Hi, my 650k plus channel was just completely removed without a single warning or notice. I've only ever gotten one strike a few months back and made changes according to the terms of service since. I filed an appeal. Please help. This is, oh man, that sucks. Okay, so this was, this was the tweet as of yesterday. That's, it. Like it's, okay, can I just say, can I just say how much it sucks to have to reach out to YouTube in this way? Like the fact that YouTube doesn't have its own internal processes that like actually work. You have to call them out on Twitter and be like, hey, what the hell? Hello. You know what I mean? Like this, this shouldn't, it shouldn't have to be this way. But unfortunately it is like Twitch and YouTube for some reason, instead of having like an internal customer service, they're just like, you have to at them. You have to, you have to publicly call them out on Twitter and then they'll help you. I think it's stupid, but anyways, I feel like their, their internal processes are not great. It's completely useless, but anyways. And, and then team YouTube is like, here to help. Mind sharing your channel URL so we can check on this. Hello, thanks in advance. And then they say, looks like your appeal is still under review. Right now, it's best to wait until you hear back from our policy team via email. Let us know if you have any other questions in the meantime. <laughs> Just look at my stuff and fix it. Okay, so some people are like, I'm just crying. I'm crying. Homeboy just shrugged and said, I don't know. <laughs> right? Exactly. This is unfortunate. This sucks. However, it's backup. So so I guess something must have happened maybe behind closed doors. But Vebe's YouTube is backup. Hooray! Thank goodness. And and luckily her uh, 627k subscribers are still around. So YouTube. YouTube done goofed. Uh, are we shocked? No. But... At least, at least it got resolved and oh my God. Cause like that's so much, can I just say as a content creator, that is so much work to get this many people to follow you and like to just be part of your community. And for you to just lose it overnight is sickening. It's scary. It's disgusting. YouTube do better, do better. Okay. Excellent. All right. All right. On to our next piece of news. This isn't VTuber news, but this is like news sort of kind of related to VTubing because you know, video games, we play video games as VTubers. Okay. And it says, Nintendo confirms the existence of Switch successor. Announcement before March 2025. What? Finally. I know. Everyone's always like, oh, the Switch 2 is coming out. People have been saying the Switch 2 has been coming out for like a thousand years. You know what I mean? Okay. When did the actual Switch come out? Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Okay. So the Switch initially came out March 3rd, 2017. It's been seven years. That is a pretty good length of time for a console. Uh, usually, yeah, I'd say about like four to five years. So seven's kind of pushing it. So Nintendo Switch is this really, it's, a, it's just a really fun and good product. I am not obviously sponsored by Nintendo. Uh, I have a Nintendo Switch. I like the Nintendo Switch. Nintendo Switch, awesome. Anyways, but yeah, so it's it's been some time. It's been some time since it's come out. So everyone's been speculating for years. Nintendo Switch 2 is coming out like for, you know, forever anyways long story short there is an existence of it but they won't talk about it until after march of 2025 so here is the actual tweet itself from nintendo this is a translation this is a like a machine translated it says this is furukawa president of nintendo we will make an announcement about the successor to nintendo switch within this fiscal year so remember fiscal year is different than an actual year um fiscal year is kind of when the books finish 
like the financial books, like the accounting books. And it's not like a, it's not like a year, like a January to December. Fiscal years usually end in like April-ish. It will have been over nine years since we announced the existence of Nintendo Switch back in March 2015. We will be holding a Nintendo Direct this June regarding the Nintendo Switch software lineup for the latter half of 2024, but please be aware that there will be no mention of the Nintendo Switch successor during that presentation. So now everybody knows. So all the YouTube people who are like, oh, I know secrets about the Nintendo Switch too. Eventually they will be right, obviously. But that's, that's like saying, that's like me saying today, there will be a PlayStation 6. I tell you guys, there's going to be a PlayStation 6. Like, obviously, there's going to be a PlayStation 6. Like, but like when it'll come out is, you know, <laughs> we don't know. Let me know, guys, in the comments, what uh, features do you want on the Switch? Um, a lot of people are asking for backwards compatible, and I totally agree because I have a very large Nintendo Switch collection. I think that would be incredible if we could get that. But uh, yeah, I feel like I feel like the things that they probably need to work on probably are backwards compatibility and like battery life and you know <laughs> i don't know if you guys remember may i just just to refresh your memory mortal combat nintendo switch uh, they probably need to maybe fix <laughs> maybe fix some of this stuff <laughs> maybe fix a couple of these you know, uh, maybe some graphics, maybe fixing some graphic issues, perhaps. Uh, but yeah, anyways, but let me know what what features are you wanting? Let me know in the comments. Not that I have any pull with Nintendo, but what features are you hoping for for the new Nintendo Switch? Let me know. Okay, this next piece of news is a little bit bizarre. I am a Canadian, so I know all about Drake. Drake is one of our national treasures. He's a rapper. Um, uh, Drake and Kendrick Lamar have a bit of a beef going on together, right? What does this have to do with VTubing? Well, guys, <laughs> this person on Twitter slash X, uh, says, Maury Calliope dead silent on rap beef right now, which is like, oh, okay. Why, why is she so quiet on the rap beef? Well, it turns out guys, Maury Calliope is actually going in for surgery. So this is her Twitter slash X account. And it says, last stream for a while due to surgery. I'm nervous. Let's talk before I go. So this is her going away stream. Um, so she's, she doesn't say as to what kind of surgery is happening, which is fine because it's none of our business anyway. She is a little bit nervous about the anesthesia though, which I mean, I would be nervous too. But uh, overall, we're wishing Maury Calliope lots of lots of healing vibes, lots of success in the in the surgery. And uh, and so if she's gone for a little bit, that is the reason why. So yes, so sorry, you'll have to wait. Sorry, Justin, you'll have to wait until until <laughs> Maury Calliope is back from surgery so that she can comment on the rap beef. All right. Anyways, wishing you lots of lots of hugs, lots of healing vibes. On to our next piece of news. Okay, so this is on the Kurosanji subreddit posted by Dara Striken. It says, Doki burns 700k tweet. Woo! Doki says, Thank you everyone for 700k subscribers. Remember when I said I hope to get 500k by the end of the year? But now here we are. Our very first official milestone together, Dragoons. Oh, I never thought I had a future in this since I can't sing nor have the talent to be an entertainer. So to make it this far is surprising for me. It's really lonely world out there, but streaming and making you all laugh and seeing the love from my dragoons makes it a little less lonely. I'll have a belated gift to thank all of you soon. I hope we can keep moving forward and just enjoy each day we have together. Thank you for being here and still supporting me after everything. Oh, Doki, you're incredible. Oh, that's so, that's so good. That's so good, Doki. We're so proud of you, Doki. Great job. Incredible work. But, uh, I don't see how she doesn't think she's not an entertainer. Uh, you don't get like 700k subscribers for not being entertaining, but okay. Anyways, okay, here's what, uh, let's see what the good people on Reddit say. We got Shihomi says, don't have the talent to be an entertainer. Girl, what you talking about? <laughs> right? Exactly. Bringing people together and making them laugh is the epitome of entertaining. And she has that ability in spades. Too many more milestones to come. Yes, I agree. I agree. All right, on to our next piece of news. 
We have, um, we're going to be talking about Kotoka Torahime. So who's Kotoka Torahime? Kotoka Torahime is a female Japanese English virtual YouTuber affiliated with Niji Sanji. Here is, okay, so the reason why we're talking about Kotoka is because we have a, this was, this was posted on the Kuro Sanji subreddit by Archimedes. They say, anyone think Kotoka might not be coming back? And then it says, it's been around three months. However, it does seem... Like the hate and apparent F-ups are slowing down. Haven't seen anything against her specifically lately. Okay, so let's see what the what the comments got to say. Realistic Remote says, no effing way. She's either graduating or more likely being terminated. Whew, yeah, yikes, man. I mean, like, if it wasn't Niji, it's fine. But you're like, you know that Niji's like just trying to like clean house. They're like, if you're of no, if you're not streaming, you're of no use to us. All right, guys. Well, let us know in the comments. What do you think? Where do you think Kotoka is? Is she, is she on a mental health break? Is she trying to write out the contract? What do you think? Okay. On our next piece of VTuber news we have here. Um, so this is posted on the Kurosanji subreddit. And it's posted by doesn't work for is. Said, what happened? What happened? Okay. So let me show you what happened exactly. So there's a bunch of screenshots here. It starts off with this person, Emily... Uh, says, I haven't been able to practice slash play as much as T8. Uh, so T8 is Tekken, Tekken 8. Okay, so this is Tekken 8. So just to give you some context, Tekken 8 is like a fighting game that was developed by Bandai Namco. Okay. All right. So why are we talking about Tekken 8? Okay. So, so Emily, Emily says, I haven't been able to practice slash play as much T8 as I would have liked for hashtag Evo Japan 2024, but it's okay. And so Jam says, speaking of which, any streamers interested in playing some Tekken in early May? With some googly eyes, like, hmm, are you interested? Hmm. And look who replies. <laughs> wow, wow. Vox from Niji Sanji says, ooh, ooh, pick me. <laughs> and so Jam says, I'd love to have you aboard. And then we got Victoria Brightside from Niji Sanji as well, saying, I'm a little sad I can't participate and run back to, into the Tekken event, but I'm sure there will be a next time. Gotta get good and reach red rank. And so Jam says, I'll, I will send a squire your way with an invite next time. No problem. Okay. So, so Niji Sanji wants to participate in this Tekken 8 tourney. Hmm. What's interesting about this is that they're not there. But you know who is there? Hmm. Do you see? Do you see Doki Bird on the list? That's right. Doki Bird is in... The Sajam Slam 2. So, uh, so Doki will be participating. But unfortunately, Niji will not be. <laughs> so, oopsie. Anyways, good job, Doki. Well done. Fantastic work. A++++. Everything's coming up, Doki. Anyways, good job, Doki. Well done. Excellent. Okay. On to our last piece of news. This piece of news is a little bit more positive. Do you guys remember Orin Chan? Yay! Yes, of course we do. Okay, so Orin Chan has tweeted here it says even indie vtubers like me can do 3d live like this without going to 3d studio let's take a look at her 3d live let's see uh this is too big am i is my head my head's in the way ah okay i gotta go i gotta go small okay let's take a we're gonna take a look at orange and okay let's see oh that's so cool Aww. wow that's so cool like holy moly like even <laughs> even like indie vtubers can do better than niji ah! oh my goodness okay uh so orange chance says even indie vtubers like me can do 3d live like this without going to 3d studio things to prepare one uh virtual motion capture two vc face three webcam motion capture finger tracking oh that's cool uh four vroom five prepare effects and obs and use them at any time Six, uh, Moko Kopi. Seven, person operating OBS and camera. I hope you enjoy the 3D live. Man, Oren Chen, you're so talented. That's incredible. Absolutely incredible. And there's the whole live here. So if you want to go support Oren Chen and watch the 3D live, this is the information. Like, like no gatekeeping, man. Oren Chan's a G. That's awesome. Uh, and here's what Oren Chan says. I learned something from my post about 3D live. It's been almost four years since I started my activities as a VTuber. And I thought that everyone had the knowledge I've gained so far. But surprisingly, that may not be the case. I didn't know that. Oh my god. That's incredible. That's absolutely incredible, Orange Jam. In that case, it might be interesting to make a series of videos based on my knowledge so far and post them as videos. Yes, please! 
Especially as a Japanese person, I feel like sharing my knowledge in English will be helpful to overseas VTubers. Absolutely. That's incredible. Yay! Oren Chen. Wow. Thank you so much for being an absolute resource to people. So many people like to like to gatekeep and uh and it's incredible that that Oren Chen is willing to share the information because because the thing is like a lot of people gatekeep because they have what's called scarcity mindset scarcity mindset is like oh there's only so many people who will watch vtubing and if I share my secrets they're gonna take away viewers from me Ugh. you know what I mean but um but yeah Oren Chen is actually being like really really nice to the community that's an incredible thing to do and uh and yeah oh man I want to do a 3D live concert. This looks incredible. Oh my goodness. If only I can figure out seven things. I need your help. <laughs> All right, chat. That is the end of our news. Great job, everybody. Please feel free to release your farts. Now is the time. <laughs> okay. Thanks so much for watching the video. Shout out to my patrons that help make these videos possible. If you want to help support the channel, you can always join me at Patreon, subscribe to me on Twitch, or become a member on YouTube. I also have links to merch in the description below. As always, I appreciate your support, and I'll see you in the next video. Mwah!